can you introduce yourself and a bit about your background? Okay, I'm Ahmed Farhad. I'm football coach at OSM Academy. Previously, I was a football coach in Lebanon. And after that, I went to Italy. I played in the University League. And now I'm here. How long you been here to be a football coach in Qatar? Uh, I've been here like since uh, one year, exactly two months before the, the World Cup. Yes. So how so far you see this uh, player in Qatar or uh, student in Qatar? I think uh, while in the Middle East we are hosting like big events such as uh, FIFA World Cup and the Asia Cup, definitely it's boosting the will and the culture of football for kids. They are getting more excited and more happy to, to be a football player, especially they have the opportunity to see their favorite player playing next to their homes. So it's definitely a big boost for all the players. What's the difference? Maybe you see you play in Europe, right? So how yeah. you see the football maybe in Europe and between uh, Asia and Europe? I think in Asia we are improving, but we definitely we need to implement more uh, the culture of football in the school and in university and the academies. It's, it's right, we have newest infrastructure, like newest stadium. It's very important to improve the football culture, but investing in uh, kids, in academies, in the culture, school and university is essential to build a better generation for the future. What's the main, maybe the important thing that the player or the student want to start to play football? Maybe the basic thing? I think first of all, they should all, always remember that they are playing football like to enjoy the game. Sometimes when they got uh, older, with all the social media and all the, 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 the pressure that they are having, they are forgetting that they are playing football, it's for fun. So first of all, they should always remember that football is having fun. And later on, working on their skills, on their mentality in order to be like a professional football player. But it's not easy, you have to work really hard, you have like to be... Uh, you, you should be training hard, uh, listening to your coach. In that way, you, you, you can make it to be a professional football player. Uh, you have experience right, to maybe to watch the World Cup, uh, to watch the Asian Cup, you have in Europe also. Maybe what, what is the difference maybe about the competition FIFA World Cup, Asian, Fo Asian AFC and Europe football? I think in Europe they, are, uh, they started like way ahead of Asia Cup ahead of Asia. I think in Europe they start way ahead of Asia and implementing the culture in the school and in university. So I think we should focus more in our academies, not only getting like superstar players to our first division, it's definitely so important, but if you really want to build and compete at high level, uh, like in Europe, you need to implement infrastructure for kids, for the under 7, under 10, under 15, in order to have your future generation, you should have a long-term vision, not only like I need to be the best in one or two years, in the long-term uh, Uh, how about the football in your country, Lebanon, actually? Is it different with here, maybe other Asian country? Yes, definitely. I think in Lebanon, the issue that we have that we are not really in investing in academy or in infrastructure. Like in Lebanon now, we don't even have one stadium that's official where we, we can play our game. So we really have issues with our, uh, how we are uh, dealing with kids, with the academies, with the generation. Academies are, are all over Lebanon. That's something healthy, but also not healthy because the academies should be with the certified people, certified coaches that they know what they are doing in order like to invest in uh, kids to be a football player in the future. It should not be commercial academy, but really for the good of the players. Okay.